you mean I can't go? Well, imagine my surprise when my brother calls me and tells me you're coming to Tahiti to get married when I didn't even know you were close. <laughs> and I didn't even know you were still alive until recently, so oh. I think we're even. I'm yeah. not upset, bro. Although I thought that, you know, we did have a, a spark, you know? I mean, well, you know, I was trying to convince you to stay away from Todd, and I'm glad you finally did that, and I'm, I'm even happier that the man you're gonna marry is my brother, huh? Which is why you can't go. Uh -uh. Not until you do what you came here to do, which is become Mrs. Elijah Clark. <laughs> okay, so just, just slow down for a bit. How, how could this Eli Clark have killed Evangeline? We were both there when she died. Vang died because we took her off life support. My mother fought it. She wanted to keep my sister alive. Yeah, but we all agreed we, she, she wouldn't want to live that way. My mother only agreed after she called an attorney whose name she found in Vang's things. The attorney who drew up her living will. Bennett Thompson. A.K.A. Eli Clark. So you don't think that will is real? It was never filed, remember? But Bennett told my mom it represented Vanja's wishes, without a doubt. He wanted my sister dead. So she wouldn't tell anyone she knew who he was. Yeah, but if that's true... What he did was worse than killing her, Chris. He made us do it for him. Maybe, yeah, but Eli's a serial killer who knows that we're on to him. He'd, he'd want to go further than that. Maybe they went to Las Vegas, you know? I mean, originally, that's where they were going to get married. Yeah, and Eli knows that's the first place we'd look. Besides, it'd be too easy for Blair to call home and tell everybody where she is. Okay, then you know what? You think of something. Kelly, I... You th are a P.I. You're supposed to come up with ideas instead of shooting all of mine down. Okay, yeah, but it's a lot easier when I have at least one clue to follow. Like when Blair hired me to find Eli's brother, Ross. I mean, I tracked that guy all the way to Tahiti. Do you think that that's where Eli took her? I mean, that's where his brother lived. Well, yeah, but why would he? His brother's dead. I have been trying to convince Blair to stay long enough for us to get married, but I understand how important it is to get back. Eli. Her family comes first. Good morning. Uh, the door is open. Oh, hey, you must be. I am the uh, Consulier Municipal. Sorry, I'm late. I got a bit lost coming up here. But I'm ready to perform the wedding if uh, the couple is ready to get married. Let me say, Blair. He's here. Can we stay long enough to make this legal? Oh, Eli, we got the judge. You have your witness, bridegroom. Okay, let's get in married. You have made me the happiest man on earth. Mm -hmm. Let me just get into my pretty dress. Congratulations. You're really gonna do it. I'm glad my brother could come through for Danny. I just wish my other brother could help her mom like he helped Sean. He brought him back to life. Wait, so this is Dr. Evans Danny's been talking about? That's your brother? Yeah. He's a genius. He got it like that. Wait, for what? He's this famous brain surgeon. You're stuck working here? We don't take money from Greg. No, I didn't mean that. I just mean, I don't know. Does your whole family have it like that? No, well, Greg's the big success, our star. The rest of my family's pretty much blue collar. It's the complete opposite of my folks. They're all super white collar, except for my brother Theodore. You know, my mom actually cried when he said he wanted to be a cop. Whoa, what's wrong with being a cop? Nothing, I guess. I mean, if you don't mind being broke. I'm proud of my brother. You know, he followed his heart like I followed mine. Keep talking. I just prefer the country club life, you know? Valet, concierge, VIP all the way, baby. That's how I want to live, make a ton of money, Keep my lady in style. What lady are you talking about? The woman in my heart. You. I've got news for you. I don't need to be kept or spoiled or anything that players think girls want. If I'm a player, then 
You're my violin. You need to quit while you're not even close. So what? You want to work here for the rest of your life? Who said I want to work here for the rest of my life? No, I just mean, you know. Look, I don't know about you, but I plan on being successful in my own right. Just like my two brothers. Well, you're way ahead of me. And I've got two brothers I don't even know, and country club life is not even on my radar. Not when I have no clue where my mom and I are going to be living next week. That's a bummer. Well, it's nothing compared to what Danny's going through. You really care about her, don't you? More than I ever thought was possible. No, no, please, you need to let us see her. You know, I know that my mom said that she doesn't want us here, but... This is on me. I brought them here because in good conscience, I couldn't keep a kid from my mother. That's not the point, Sean. You know, I'll stand out here and talk about who did what, but you're not going to keep me from seeing my wife. Look, you don't understand. No, no, no. Evans, you don't understand that you can't keep me from seeing Taya. Period. What room is she in? This one. Look, wait a minute, okay? Just one. Todd, Todd, don't go out of please. Let him go. Look, if if Eli's done half the things John says he's done, then, then you're probably right. He probably did manipulate the situation. But Eli didn't put Evangeline in that coma. Look, I, I believe with all my heart that, you know, we were honoring what Evangeline would have wanted. I know she wouldn't have wanted to live that way. It just kills me that she's gone, Chris. It makes me so angry that someone can use the condition of a dying woman to suit their own evil needs. Thanks, Ross. Thanks for everything. My brother's what? Wow, you look amazing. Ross was dead, but maybe there's an estate. He did have a house. Do you think that maybe there was an inheritance of some sort that Eli was going to? Well, anything's possible. And if Eli wanted to get Blair as far from Lambview as he could, Tahiti pretty much fits the bill. It's a good theory, but I think you're going to have to dig it up. Well, what I'm going to do is tell this to John McBain. Rex, you might be wrong. Excuse me, sir. Pardon us. I don't even want to know. What's up with these clouds? Today's forecast, cloudy with a chance of showers until mid-afternoon. I was hoping to soak up some sun. What am I going to do now? Well... Find some other way to occupy your time. When all else fails, it's always racquetball. Not my thing. So, are you gonna kiss me goodbye, or do I have to lie to my diary? You know I'm at work, right? You know, I lied twice in my entire life to my diary. Dude, you are almost cracking me up. I aim to please. Well. So, he's kind of hilarious. <laughs> and you're maybe not the jackass I thought you were when you stole Danny from Matthew. Don't hold back or anything. Hey, you always know where you stand with me. So, even if Matthew still hates my guts... Look, Matthew's my good friend and all, and I'll always have his back. But where other people are concerned, I make up my own mind. And so far? You're not so bad. I mean, you've really been there for Danny through all this. Yeah. I think she's going to need me more than ever when she gets home. Where's Mom? Where is she? Where is she? Let's see, Los Angeles to Greenland. 1,434 miles. L.A. to Greenland. Not bloody likely. Uh, let's see. Caracas, Venezuela, 3,600 miles. I believe that Evangeline is, is resting in peace now. And I really think that she'd want you to find your own peace. Just concentrate on the good things in your life. Like our wedding? 
Yeah, I like that. Well, we got a lot to take care of. You're right. Okay. I'll let my boss take care of Eli Clark. in Tahiti, 4,005 miles. Shall we begin? I have my brother, my best man right here. He comes here, if you could stand in front of the candles with my breathtaking, resplendent bride at my side. Let's go. I know this is a civil ceremony, but I would like to start with a poem. Now, if it's all the same to you, I think we should jump ahead to the uh, important part. I want to make this woman my wife as soon as possible. my wife. Ben? Theodore? I could tell them skinny legs anywhere. I thought you were working. Ah, man. They put me on 25 with DL. Because of your head. I hope I'm not responsible for whatever went down at the country club yesterday. Actually, I'm responsible. I shouldn't even let you know what I was doing there. In all reality, I didn't even think you were that interesting. I, I don't see why you want to be a cop instead of getting crazy paid doing something else like that. But, like I told all my peeps today... What peeps? I've got them. Anyway, I told them I'm proud of my brother. And I am. Thanks, man. It must be nice to have brothers you can be proud of. Yeah, it is. I'm really glad Sean changed his mind and took Danny to her mom. Me too. I just hope this trip gives Danny what she's looking for. Where's Taya? She's gone. Yeah, I can see that. Where is she? where Eli might have taken Blair. Tahiti? Do you, Elijah Clark, take this woman to be your lawfully wedded wife, to love and to cherish, to have and to hold, for rich or for poor, in sickness and in health, till... I do. Do you, Blair Kramer, take this man to be your lawfully wedded husband, to love and to cherish, to have and to hold, for rich or for poor, in sickness and in health, till death do you part. Where is Taya? That's what I've been trying to explain. Um, I'm sorry to tell you, but... Um, Taya died last night. Oh. 